If you're thinking about a Kaleidoscape, I want to put a highlight on what I think is one of the really unique elements. So I think one of the things that you get when you buy certain types of hardware, certain types of home theater and audio gear from, I would say, high-end, niche, small, focused companies is a level of engagement, customer experience, and user community experience that isn't quite the same for like mass market brands. So, you know, Trinoff is, a, is one I think that fits this level, Lumigen and some others like that, which are very, very close to their customers. And so Kaleidoscape is, is the one that I specifically want to highlight and how the community, the engagement really kind of makes for an exceptional value add and like extra dimension of being in the platform. So I want to call attention to basically three places where I tend to spend time online uh, around the Kaleidoscape community and being a Kaleidoscape customer. And one of those is the Kaleidoscape users group on Facebook. It's not a very big group, but it's well run um, and administered by folks that are big fans of the platform. There's engagement from dealers, from uh, users and owners that are in the home theater industry, you know, folks that know video, folks that know audio. And so the fact that it's a small group makes it very nice because everybody there is kind of qualified and and they're basically for the same reason. So Kaleidoscape users group on Facebook. I tend to post my Kaleidoscape videos there. Um, I engage with folks in comments when they post about joining into the platform, asking questions about the platform. And you do see some, it's not the key element for this, but you do see some Kaleidoscape direct engagement um, also in that area too. And for the time that I've used the Facebook group, I can't say that I've ever noticed, encountered, or you know, dealt with any real massive negativity, problems, community problems, or any of that. It's a positive group, and uh, enthused about the platform, excited to talk about it, share experiences, share information, and all of that. The second place that I want to kind of point you to, if you're considering Kaleidoscape, or if, if you're in the platform already, as a place to engage and kind of join a little more actively in the community is the Kscape Owners Forum. So this has been around for a while, quite a few members there, and it's, I think it's really kind of one of the pinnacle places for multi-level engagement. So there's a, a number of dealers that participate in that channel. Kscape Owners Forum is one of the best places to go to buy and sell used Kaleidoscape equipment. There's a marketplace forum that you can use there. Above all, it's one of the main places that Kaleidoscape themselves directly engages with the owners, with the user community, and all of that. So it's not a very big company, but I'd say there's probably a handful of folks directly from Kaleidoscape that will engage on the owner's forum. So if you're having questions, or if you have questions, if you're having trouble, if you're not getting uh, you know, all of the support that you need, if you have suggestions, taking that stuff to Kscape owner's forum, is just fantastic because you can get direct replies. That's the place where Kaleidoscape tends to go when new software releases or KOS releases come out and you want to find out specifically what's in them. We use that forum when I say we collectively like you know us Kaleidoscape owners to feedback to uh, feedback to Kaleidoscape. So there's a long-standing thread that I started about holes in the store where people post kind of things that they want. To, to be able to get in the platform things that might be missing from the store right now. A couple other of really, really amazing contributors there basically have threads and maintain threads where they track all of the sales and price changes that happen in the store, which are not always necessarily reflected directly on like Kaleidoscape.com or in the app. So the, the, movie, the movies on sale thread is like a, is a daily stop in a heavily leveraged uh, part of that forum where, and again, all the price reductions are posted. There are some other motivated folks that basically keep track of all of the content that Kaleidoscape has in 4K that has not been announced or released on disc yet. So when you, when you see folks commenting in the past that there were 400, 500, whatever, more movies on Kaleidoscape in 4K than there are on disc, it's because of the efforts of the community, you know, largely running those comparisons and making those calculations and providing the lists. If you have, again, questions, how to use your K, technical support types of things, integration questions, um, Kscape Owners Forum is an excellent, excellent place to take those questions to. 
it's full of all kinds of people with like super high-end premium equipment premium spaces so you know every, every control system automation system uh, and other thing that you might want to integrate a Kaleidoscape system with is probably represented by multiple owners or, or, or whatnot folks that are uh, members of the forum and could help answer your questions give some guidance and, and all of that so super props to Kscape owners forum it, it pretty much I think is like the mecca the, the main the, the pinnacle of company and community engagement coming together uh, from you know a boutique company in, in a niche space of a specific industry and product offering just super kudos to the folks that put it together and maintain it the other place that I will mention is ABS forum a little bit less so um, on ABS forum there is a Kaleidoscape owners thread I think it might be specifically titled for like Strato it, it, we've tried to change it or it's been suggested to change the, the titling and reestablish a new owners thread a couple of times over the years but it nev never really took so its location in the forums and its name might not be the best but you will see some crossover so a lot of the folks that are in the Facebook group are some of the same folks or many of the same folks that are on Kscape owners forum are also many of the same folks that are in the AVS forum thread but if you're already on AVS and you wanted to engage about Kaleidoscape with owners and with the company as well there's particularly uh, some engineering folks from Kaleidoscape do tend to pay attention to the AVS forum owners thread and will comment reply and discuss there the only thing that I'll say about the AVS forum thread is it sometimes does get contentious um, I think the benefit of the Facebook group and the Kscape owners forum is that they're very very and only specifically focused on Kaleidoscape itself and so if you're really not interested in becoming a customer uh, or becoming an owner or you're not already one you're probably not joining the Facebook group you're probably not bothering to engage on Kscape owners forum but there's a lot of people on ABS and so folks that are outside of the platform folks that may have let's say less than enthusiastic opinions about Kaleidoscape and what it is and how it works or maybe have misconceptions and misunderstandings will kind of pollute pollute that thread at times and so there are like waves of, of, of positive moments and waves of like uh, just cringe inducing discussion from folks that just come in to snipe and just come in, you know, to be negative and be problematic and, and challenge. Not that I have any problem with folks posting, you know, critical feedback and, and all of that. I do. I tend to do that in all of those places as well. But there's a difference between critical but constructive and, and qualified feedback and, you know, just being a jerk or whatever it might be so do be do be advised if you if you judge and base your entire kaleidoscape uh, customer ownership experience in the community by the abs forum thread alone you're not getting enough of the positive energy so i think it's fantastic that k you know k, k folks k employees um, in prominent positions come to these locations and engage with us take our feedback, answer questions, clarify misconceptions, and, and all of that. So I really hopefully encourage them to continue doing that. Hopefully, you know, the community never drives, <laughs> never drives the company away from wanting to engage with the folks. If you're a prospective customer, if you are an existing customer, if you just want to learn more about what Kaleidoscape is all about, those are some really excellent resources that I recommend you check out. I run in all three of those circles. If you have any other community places on the internet that I'm overlooking that are great places for Kaleidoscape let me know post in the comments for the others here if you have anything extra that you would like to say about those specific community community elements please share your thoughts and feedback as well otherwise please do all the regular YouTube stuff like subscribe hit the bell for notifications look in the description for some ways to support the channel we've got super thanks we've got merch Amazon affiliate links uh, YouTube memberships and, and all of that. I would appreciate anything, of course, that you are willing to do. Thank you so much and come on back for more home theater discussion and fun.